How's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in this video, I want to talk about car customization, vehicle physics, and vehicle damage in Grand Theft Auto 5. It's something I've wanted for a while now, ever since I really got into Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 4. I really want to customizable cars. So this first screenshot we're looking at right here is part of the Los Santos Customs Car Garage. Now, first, let's take your eyes to the bottom left of the screen. You can see acceleration, top speed, braking, and traction. Now, in Grand Theft Auto 4 and in previous... Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto games, we knew what cars were fast. You know, you had your sports cars, you had your off-roading bikes, you had your trucks, you had your SUVs, and you knew generally what they were good for, but you didn't have any really true statistics, and that was something that I felt like was really missing from Grand Theft Auto 4. So it looks like we're going to be able to get statistics on how cars work. It looks like the car on the screen right now is some type of sports car. You can see it has nice acceleration and nice top speed. So, uh, Obviously, that is really cool. It's great to know that we have these statistics on vehicles now. Something I've wanted for a while now, and I think it's really cool. Taking your attention to the top left, you can see that we have over 75 primary colors to put on your vehicle. And the keyword here is primary. It looks like we could even have secondary or even a third color to your vehicle, being able to mix and match combinations, racing stripes, uh, decals, graphics on the side. Whatever you really want, it looks like it's available for you. And the colors are really cheap right here. You can see the person has earned over $100,000, and these are only 400 per color. So not a bad deal at all. And some nice ones as well, racing green, neon green, yellow, racing yellow it looks like there's a whole bunch of different colors for you guys to uh, choose here so it's really exciting let me show you another screenshot all right so this next image we're looking for is really cool something I'm also wanted for a while it looks like you're gonna be able to change the wheel design on pretty much any vehicle you want in the game now these prices range from what looks on the screen twenty one hundred dollars to around thirty three hundred dollars so not bad not a bad investment if this is a car you're going to be keeping for yourself now this is really cool because in Grand Theft Auto 4 there were a ton of wheel designs that I didn't really like or I wish I could have swapped them out uh, for another design and I would have really loved the car so this is really cool who knows if you'll be able to change other things like the tire uh, the brake calipers which if you don't know is that red brake piece you can see right there so really cool I love the customization so far let's talk about some vehicle physics and dynamics so one of the many cool things that Grand Theft Auto 4 introduced us to in 2008 was really awesome vehicle dynamics. Now there are a bunch of cool things that happen with your vehicle, including you, your own character, being shot out of the vehicle if you hit a sharp object or another car. Uh, you know, imitating real life physics of having a head-on-head -head collision, as you can see right now. Now some of these crashes were fatal, some weren't, but a lot of them did a whole bunch of damage to your vehicle. Now what I'm talking about is your vehicle actually has the ability to shut down and just stop working on the spot or you either need to get a new vehicle or you can dial 55555 over and over again and it will repair it. So, uh, there's a lot of interesting things that I want to see carry over. I love the unique and interesting vehicle dynamics. But one thing that's also interesting to note, there's an interview that uh, IGN put out that says uh, you know, that cars are now going to be able to, you know, leak fuel or leak gasoline. Of course, in real life, that if you have an accident, which I've had before, there's like 12 different multicolored things that are coming out of the vehicle, uh, a bunch of different fluids and stuff. So it's cool to see they're going to be, you know, having a more realistic feel. So maybe you could like light that trail of uh, oil or gasoline on fire and it would give you the effect of like a car or like the fire chasing the car. And another cool feature right here is you can actually deform your vehicle if you didn't know in Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm sure that'll be coming back in Grand Theft Auto 5. And finally, last but not least, fire does definitely apply to your vehicles. You can see my back right wheel is on fire right now, and that will, of course, cause you to lose one of your wheels. So I'm sure with four or five years of new technology under their belt, and of course many years of development, the Grand Theft Auto 5 team is going to have awesome, you know, dynamics as far as their car and vehicles go. I would love to see different vehicles have different attributes as, you know, far as damage wise goes and as far as, you know, what explosion will do and how an explosion will work or, or how their vehicle will interact with other things in the environment. So all these things we'll find out in time. But the least thing I can say is I'm very excited for this game. We're on about a week countdown. I cannot wait for Grand Theft Auto 5. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you did, I would encourage you to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.